Yes, recording. It's day two of the bed build. Right, so today we're just going to get straight down to it. We know what we're doing. Um, as you saw yesterday, we marked out where the slats need to go. We're just going to strengthen strengthen up the bottom base a little bit strong, uh, a little bit more. We've got longer screws to pull it all together, and then we're going to start making it look like a bed. Uh, bench mode is now complete. Let's put it in the van and see what it looks like as a bench. I give it a wobble. Give it a sturdiness test. Oh my! Can't move it, cow. The grand reveal. <laughs> <laughs> well, head clearage. If I take my bun down. Very happily clears. Oh yeah. No room for headlockers. No though. room for headlockers, <laughs> but I think with what room we've got at the back, we're quite happy with. Construction feels solid. Yeah, really uh, sturdy. Obviously, we need to put the front on. We've got all this space at the bottom here for storage. Little table here. Um, me and Meg are big chess players, obviously. So uh... chess. <laughs> I don't think so. Plenty of room. Got some chocolate on your leg. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's good. I'm just going to go around the other side, have a quick gander in from there. It does look a bit... <laughs> it looks slightly ridiculous at the moment, but that's because it's not finished. Um, <laughs> it just looks like you're pushed. <laughs> High five. So now we've put our, uh, bits of furniture we've already made are in, so we're going to see what the maximum size we can get this bed. Um, bigger is better, yeah? So we've got our slats, we need to see, these are definitely going to need to be shaved down as well. Um, but yeah, we're going to see the maximum size we can get this bed. So now we are screwing in and sizing up the movable um, slats of the bed. We've measured out what size our slats need to be. So Megan is currently using the circular saw just to shorten them down. How are you doing, kid? All gravy, baby. Three out of, what is it, 16? 16, yeah, ish. All good. All right then, now for the big pull-out reveal. This is legit the first time we're doing this. Legit. <laughs> it's fine everyone! Fine! Absolutely fine! And we can go about that wide? Yeah. Phone, get your phone, phone on it! <laughs> <laughs> this is only rough cut, rough sized foam at the moment. Or is it? <laughs> you first, Princess. You take I take my boots off. Oh! <laughs> oh. We made a bed. <laughs> oh. Oh. Feeling a little bit emotional, we've made the bed. I know. It seems like, I don't know, it seems like we've come very far in a very short space of time. Um, I'd also like to take this opportunity to dedicate this video to my granddad and my uncle Bubs. Uh, uncle Bert is a carpenter and granddad is also, well, whatever he lays his hands on, he makes it work. But I think when I was about six, he had a stroke. So throughout our childhood growing up, he's fixed everything that me and my sister have broken. So you've kind of helped teach me. You've helped to create this build by lending us bits and pieces, drills, um, and even just a little bit of uh, insight, yeah. yeah. And just interest as well, whenever I pull up in the van, what you done this week, where are you at? 
area. Lovely long time and shout out. <laughs> wow, I'm happy. I didn't think I'd be this chuffed with it. Because we, a little bit bodgy sometimes, I was assuming that we would uh, hash this together. And like, it's not going to be totally happy with it. It will just be a, yeah, that'll, that'll do. do. Just be delicate with it. Oh no. I'm not being delicate! Ah! For the last bit that film I'm picking my splinters out with them, so just zoom in on you maybe. So after a lot of measuring, cutting and sanding, it's time to uh, screw in our pallets onto the side here. So here is the finished side of the bed. This will be butted up against, well, relatively close to the driver's seat. Uh, but we're going to use a hole saw to place probably our light switches and USB ports in here. Maybe not the most practical place, but they'll be hidden. Usable, but hidden, I think. It is now understand hinge time again. Uh, we're going to put uh, flip down cupboards from this to access the storage areas. Um, but now again, it's hinge time. So, that was probably the best part of what? 30 minutes, you reckon, that, that hinge, <laughs> hinge o'clock? Roughly. Right then, concealed hinges. You're gonna have a small gap underneath, but we're quite happy with that, really. Yeah. Um, so now it's a case of, this is our mock piece. Uh, same diameters of, as the other wood, the bed frame and our pallet wood. So now it's just a case of making, we're going to start with one covered door, make that, make sure it all fits properly. Brace it. Sand it all down, screw it, glue it. Very similar to the process how we made the other covered doors in our previous videos, so yeah. we're quite well rehearsed in that, aren't we? I've painted the wood blue, that's just got to be waxed as well, so here we go, time lapse, roll it. Right then, so we have cut out our four pieces of pallet wood um, and we're about to get them prepped, uh, braced and ready to rock and roll with the hinges. Yeah, this is the back as you look at them, so we're using this small piece of wood? Yeah, this length here as a vertical strength and as maybe three across with hinges in between in the spaces to hopefully maximise the strength. Hinge time, let's follow the diagram. <laughs> what a productive two days. That's one word for it, yeah. yeah. It's been very hot, but it's been very rewarding. Yep, very happy where we are right now. Yeah, we haven't bodged it. It's really structurally sound. Yep, it's going to work. We're going to we're going to do a whole knob operation um, when we decide <laughs> if we want rope or knobs to go on all of the little bits and bobs. Uh, but it's mostly there. Do you want to? That's me phone. That's me mommy. Okay, so we're going to show you the aspects of the bed. We've just put internal catches. <laughs> there are, at the moment, they're a little bit tight, which is good. But these full-size cupboards allow full access to the uh, storage underneath, which is brilliant. Um, there's nothing particularly in the way apart from these beams. And flip back up. Voila! So yeah, just knobs to add, and we're also going to add a runner of felt so it slides along the floor nicely. It doesn't damage it, but um, that's it pretty much yeah. at the moment anyway. Scoot round the back, we'll show them how to, we pull it out, shall we? Yeah. 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 Ta-da! 
pretty dirty. <laughs> I think we both look a little worse for wear. Right, three, two, one. So thanks for joining us on another part of our journey. Mm. Um, uh, it feels like it's been a big one these last, uh, last couple of days. Carpentry skills are improving. Slightly. Um, hinge, hinge. Uh, hinge. <laughs> hinge. What's the word? Hinge Not understanding me. is yeah. going up. Yeah. Uh, I think it's gone leaps and bounds. I know the furniture isn't in, but with it as it is at the moment, it's 75% of the way there. We've got a lot of the small fin finishing lots, touches. Lots to of titivating. Yeah. That might be next week's episode. Not next Maybe. week's, next episode. Yeah, but thank you as always for watching. If you made it this far, um, give a like and a thumbs up if you want. Uh, definitely comment below, ask any questions if you have any, or any comments regarding the bed, what we could have done differently maybe. Um, there'll be plenty more videos to follow. We're still a long way off finishing. and We've got a lot to do really, a lot of fun stuff as well. Yeah, fun things ahead. Uh, but yeah, like, subscribe, give us some lovings. We'll love you long time. See you next time.